Alright, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with Alliance War Season 21 Episode 3. Three. I always do three weird. Look at that. My fingers are so weird. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, we're doing Path 6 and Path 5 today. So we get to bring in my boy Stealthy, we get to bring in Magneto, and we also have Apocalypse as well. On Path 6, there's Aggression Fury and Strike Back. I actually don't have Suicides on at the moment. Um, I just hadn't put them back on yet after placing, so I felt like now was a perfect time to throw in Stealthy and take advantage of um, you know, being able to just freely toss off special attacks. And um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm looking all around the map, um, but we're going in now. We're going in now. And... Um, yeah, this is a relatively simple fight with Stealthy here. Juggernaut, he is going to be a stubborn defender, so we do have to look out for the, um, you know, just the stubborn. Um, so I don't have Suicide on at the moment, so I am going to boost a bit here, just putting on basically 25% in attack boost and 10% in um, health boost. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I'm not using flashbang. I'm going to be using the web foam. So I'm not going to be having the massive attack boost from like the vulnerability debuff on um, that stealthy gets. Um, but uh, yeah, man, the game plan here is just to lock him down with the slow and then just get through this fight as fast as we possibly can. It uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Juggernaut in defense is not the worst thing in the world at all, um, but he can be a uh, kind of difficult. I faced one on kinetic transference last season and I almost died using stealthy because just he just kept gaining power I had to ta uh, keep taking hits on the block to avoid stubborn and it could get a little dicey But here I'm tossing off that special one and he's already almost half dead um, I don't know. I don't know why I triggered stubborn there, man I felt like I, I shouldn't have done it there But yeah, I took a little blocked hit and I went right in for a combo uh, at this point I'm gonna try to build up to a special two if I can for that last web cartridge even though at this this point he's basically dead after one combo yeah so that was a really really smooth stealthy fight i really like using stealthy in war he's per i mean i don't know i have a lot of favorite champions but he's easily one of my favorite champions in my roster easily one of my favorite champions to play um yeah up next we have a morning star here power focus one power alternator and i think i'm gonna go in here with magneto just a quick little fight because she's a metal champion light balance going crazy because she is a metal champion and magneto is 100 percent resistant to bleed so yeah this should be a quick and very very easy fight for magneto um i think before i started recording uh this guy has a uh dr doom as his main uh champion the prestige champion so i went in just to make sure he's not running mystic dispersion and i assumed that uh you know he's not having mystic dispersion on for defense and then taking it off for attack so I felt like it was safe to go in since he didn't have Mystic Dispersion on his Doom currently, that he didn't place Mystic Dispersion on defense. So I went in here with, um, you know, with Magneto. Otherwise, I would have just went in with Apocalypse and it would have been totally fine because Apocalypse is immune to bleed. Just would have been a bit of a longer fight with Apocalypse here without, you know, the genetic code synergies. But yeah, I just, I'm not running a suicide. So I just went for a quick special to just get this over as fast as I possibly can. And I'm just doing full combos. I only did a couple heavy attacks here yeah that's it quick and easy fight with magneto you don't always have to do parry heavy up to special three you can you do many many fights just like how i did it and sometimes it's a lot more fun to do it that way he hits very big special twos um up next we have mix master korg again um this is just a rank five five star mix master korg um and for the past two wars and like two to three prior to that in the off season i've taken six star rank threes and yeah there's nothing to be uh nothing i was scared of now at this point um i'm going in here without cable so it is a bit of a longer fight this way i really do enjoy doing this fight a lot more with cable um but at this point I threw the suicides on, and um, I'm just trying to build up to a special two, and then a special one, and I'm just gonna hit him down with specials. This is the only fight that I'm gonna be using Apocalypse for, so I don't really, I'm not too worried about the recoil damage. I don't think I boosted at all here because um, what happens in a longer fight here is that basically. The boost on like Apocalypse isn't going to do too much when he's not at a high code. All it's really going to be doing at this point is making the poison tick harder. And it would maybe save me like 30 seconds in the fight. Um, I may put on like a little health boost, but I didn't put on any attack boost, I don't think. Um, just because of that reason that I just said. Because, um, you know, this is a bit of a longer fight. It's a very easy fight for me with Apocalypse here. Um, but... You know, the longer the fight goes, the more poison damage I'm going 
gonna take and I don't want to give that poison any more potency than it needs to have you know um, so because I don't have the cable synergy with me I'm just gonna go in here and just toss off some special ones and um, yeah man it's going well so far I took some thorns damage from the beginning of that special one but that's not the biggest deal in the world refresh all those debuffs um, I think I might go to special three to lock those guys in or I might just keep cycling the special one since that's been working out pretty nicely here um, yeah at this point um, we've done his rock shield so many times that it's very very low at this point uh, once it recycles back and uh, yeah he has a very high percent chance to not be able to evade now or for the evade to fail is probably a better way to say that and yeah we're gonna go for a special two that's what we're doing here nice so now we got all four debuffs on and we took we actually didn't take any thorns damage because of the concussion that we have up so that's pretty cool yeah yeah man this fight's going really really well um like i said it's a bit of a longer fight here um if i i I don't really know what happened here. I think I went for a repower and I messed it up or something like that. But Apocalypse is pretty tanky, so not the biggest deal in the world. One more special one, and boom. Nice. Went exactly as according to plan, except for that one combo to the face. But just pretend like that didn't happen. You know the drill. Um, yeah, let's move on to Path 5 in Section 2. And we have a Rhino here on Ebb and Flow Intercept. Um, so on this node you have to do an intercept to get a passive fury or is it a passive uh, precision one of the two or else you're gonna have a big big damage reduction all right and um, so stealthy for me is the obvious choice here um, because you know he puts the slow on Rhino and then you can intercept and then uh, yeah so I've done this fight a couple times with stealthy it's not the most difficult fight in the entire world you also can do this with like Omega Red or Dr. Doom that's who we send usually um, but uh, yeah, yeah, we're moving, dude. We're moving. Um, we got that slow debuff on, trying to get that crew, uh, the precision up, and now we have both of our passive debuffs. And now we triggered stubborn, which is something I didn't want to do. And then we're just um, we're just gonna try our best to keep him in the corner. But over here, he got indestructible again, so we have to do a parry. And he went unblockable, which is something I didn't want to happen. So let's take a second here. He is at 78% health, and I'm all the way down to 28% health, and I'm running the Suicide Masteries. Now listen, I cannot die in war using Stealth Spidey. I cannot die, or else I will never hear the end of it. I will never hear the end of it from Cam. I will never hear the end of it from Taters, from Clown, from everybody else in four loki i will never hear the end of it if i die in alliance war using stealth spidey so it is imperative that i close out this fight as clean as i possibly can so i'm gonna try my best to get that intercept to take that protection off and now keep him in the corner and just berate him here until he dies okay that's what i'm gonna try to do and that's what we're doing stealth spidey mvp great champion absolutely fantastic champion um <laughs> so i'm next we're gonna move over here to this weapon x and i brought magneto for him um yeah, so this is also Ebb and Flow Intercept and Redouble Determination. So this is a node very interesting with Redouble Determination here because if we toss off a big special three, we have a lot of bleeds. One hit is going to send him straight to a special three. And another thing with Redouble Determination is because of the perfect block here, as you can see, every heavy attack that I'm doing, there is a debuff on him, and that's giving him more power than usual. And that's going to feed him to more special ones than usual. And that is going to make his rage counters go up, and that's going to make him go berserk much faster and much more often so i'm gonna try my best to build to a special three as fast as i possibly can and just try and nuke him down here without him going into berserk mode but here he went into it naturally and here i'm just trying to like influence him to push back but he's getting very aggressive with me here and he actually gets me into my own corner here but i went for a quick light intercept i don't want to hit him too many times because i don't want him to regenerate too much he has me in the corner here i'm going quake style and he went for a 
super heavy I was not expecting and he did clip me. He's still unblockable. I had to go for the special too just to push him back. And now we're back in the game here, okay? Unfortunately, we had to drop our power bar to do it. But at this point, I'm just going to try and build back up. I got clipped by the special too. But thankfully, Magneto is resistant to all bleed effects, okay? So I'm actually going to be healing from that bleed while I had it. So at this point, I'm just trying to get back to like a special three. That's all I need to happen here. Okay, we're gonna start building those prowesses. We're gonna really try to keep him out of the berserk mode if we possibly can. We really want to try and make it so like he doesn't want to toss off that special one. That's what we're trying to do here. I'm not even too concerned about getting an intercept for the protection. All I want to do here is just get one more heavy attack. Now he's in his berserk mode. We baited out the special attack. Now we should be good to go. Okay, this special three should kill him. Let's see what happens, all right? Crush him up in a little metal ball and send old Wolverine back to Canada. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so unfortunately we did take those two hits there, so our health did drop a bit, um, which sucks. So we're gonna have to use a couple potions here, which is, you know, always sucky. But um, yeah, we healed back up and we have this Mysterio. I'm taking this Mysterio linked. It's Ebb and Flow Intercept. We double Determination, Crumbling Armor, and Aggression Prowess. Um, not the hardest fight in the world uh yeah so this is a very very simple fight with magneto it's basically just make your way to special three try to get an intercept and then win the fight um and that's what we're gonna do uh that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in here i think i put on a tiny little boost i think um uh, didn't even need it. It's, it's at the point where like when you're doing fights like this and you are gonna kill them in one special three I feel like putting on a health boost are nice But putting on an attack boost is almost a waste because if you're doing a million damage with the special three 10% of attack is not gonna help you there. You know what I mean? Um, but putting on a health boost that's good I like the green boost because they do both and they're like in an abundance lately with like the uh, the solo crystals and an arena and everything else um, I mean, not arena, the, uh, the AQ rewards, yeah, um, the one that comes in the solo events, yeah, but, um, yeah, I just don't want to hit this guy pretty much when he has that little, uh, reflection icon up, basically, he has the aggression prowess link thing up, so I'm just trying to keep that at bay, as long as I just bait his specials properly and don't take any hits, it's not much to worry about, I am gonna try to push this guy up to special 2 as much as I can, simply because, um, Magneto can't miss against metal opponents, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's also just an easier special to dodge, and we're going to be healing from the power drain debuff. Um, yeah, Magneto just really makes Mysterio like a total joke, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, man, so this fight's going well so far. We're just taking it slow. We're playing it very, very safe. We're also healing from that armor break, which is very, very nice. And um, yeah, we're just moving. We're moving here, man. Now we just got to charge up those prowesses, and um, we're going to be good to go. We're going to be good to go here. So we tossed off one more special one. Just going to wait and bait this out here. Um, try to not get clipped by those heavy attacks. Uh, one more here. And let's... What am I doing here? I don't even know why I did that. Oh, I was trying to get the prowesses down. Okay, so I'm trying to get those prowesses down at this point. Um... And he tossed off another special one. Now he has me in the corner. That's annoying. Um, that's always annoying. I hit him a little bit here, and then I took advantage of the perfect block to charge the heavy. And um, yeah, he's tossing off another special one at this point. He's just very trigger happy with that. Baiting out the heavy attacks. He's just really throwing those things in the corner, man. And now I'm hitting him a couple times. I got to get some more heavies off here. I don't know why I was doing this. I should have just went for more heavies, man. Um, because now at this point, he could easily just throw another special one. But here, I'm trying to push him to a special two and now we're going to close out the fight, okay? So watch this. Bait out a special two. Charge heavy. Intercept with the heavy. Check it out. Check it out. Charge heavy. Go unstoppable. Intercept, just like Aegon and Abyss or Labyrinth, okay? And um, parry. Heavy attack. Um, we have like five more seconds left on that Fury. Build up to a special three. Fight's over. Protection is down. This is going to do like... I don't know, 400,000 damage, give or take. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, really, really solid fight. That's exactly how I uh, planned that to go, and that is how it went. So feeling good about that. Feeling good about the whole war. Um, I wish that the... Um you know, I wish Rhino didn't go unstop unblockable. I wish I didn't get uh, trapped in the corner against Weapon X. But at the end of the day, we soloed all one, two, three, four, five, six, 
of our fights, so that's good, man. Uh, at the end of the day, a solo is a solo. That's what we always say. Um, yeah, let's jump over to some individual stats now, shall we? All right, so um, this war was against C and R. Uh, for Loki did win this war, so this brings us to one and two on the season. 19 kills, one death still from the first fight of the entire season. Solar rate is up to 95%, which is dope. TDR 23.56, solar rate bonus 1.28, power rating 23.85. So yeah, dude, feeling good about this war, feeling really good about my performance all season so far. Um, we're 25% of the way through the season. 19 and 1 is not bad. I wish it was 19 and 0, but we'll take 19 and 1. Well, that's going to be it for this video, my dudes. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do your boy a favor and drop a big old like. Comment what you think about this war in the comment section below and subscribe if you want to see the last 75% of Alliance Wars Season 21. I'll be seeing you around.